Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the. Hello, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is the first video that you're seeing, then hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Hannah, and I film weekly videos on a Sunday at 9 a.m. relating to slow living, simple living, simple joys, homemaking, and just the simple things in life. Although, once a month, I do do a monthly reset video, which is where I go through my goals for that, for that previous month, whether I achieved them. I'm also on a kind of a financial learning budget saving goal. <laughs> so I talk about that as well, how I'm doing budget-wise how that month has been for me and any lessons or goals I'm taking through to the following month. But first, before I get into it, I've got a, well, I've made myself a, a latte, but it's kind of, it's just a coffee. Um, so get yourselves a nice drink, get comfortable, and let's see how we got on in the month of August. So I'm just gonna recap my August goals that I set myself and then we'll go through and see if I achieved any of them. So the first goal was to develop a new hobby or skill. The second one was to reach 650 subscribers on YouTube. The third was to exercise three times a week. Now, whether that would be going to the gym, biking to and from work or going to yoga. The fourth was to save more money than I spent. The fifth one was to have one big treat at the end of the month. The sixth was to not go over my budget this month. And the seventh was to have date nights with my wonderful husband, George. The eighth was to spend time with family. Ninth was to read two books. And the tenth was to bake my own bread. So majority of these goals I did tick off, which is really, really great. The new hobby or skill and baking my own bread kind of link so it's because I have made my own bread and if you've watched my previous videos you'll have seen me making my own bread which is going really really well. I'm going to make another loaf towards the end of this week. Um, <clears throat> in fact I'm going to make two loaves so I've got double the amount so we're not using the oven for just one thing. So that's really great um, and also that ties in with Goal number three, which was to exercise three times a week because I started a little yoga class. Now, for financial reasons, I'm not doing yoga in September, um, which we will get onto in the budget side of the monthly reset. But um, I've developed, obviously joined yoga and I really enjoyed that, but the main one was to bake my own bread. And practice makes perfect when it comes to baking bread. That's all the advice I can give you. The second one was to reach 650 subscribers on YouTube. Now, I hadn't reached that particular goal. However, I'm not far off. And when it comes to my YouTube channel, I just enjoy posting my videos. I'm, I'm not obsessed with the numbers. I'm not obsessed with <clears throat> how many subscribers I have or anything like that. I just enjoy uploading my videos and just sharing my simple little life with everyone. But as of today, when it decides to load, it's being a bit slow this morning. 
I have got 624 subscribers so we're definitely on the way there and I'm just going to keep working towards the next goal, the next milestone which is 650 so if you are watching this video and you're not yet subscribed I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe so we can grow this little community here and um, yeah it would just mean the world to me if you did. The fourth goal because we've ex we've done the exercise three times a week so um, I didn't go to the gym in August, I'm getting back into that which I will go through in September's goals but I did cycle three times a week to and from work and I did yoga so I've ticked that one off. The fourth one was to save more money than I spent. Now I did kind of achieve this but I could have saved more money if I'd really thought about it. Um, it wasn't like I was just spending money willy-nilly. Um, I did buy that tea set from a charity shop, which in hindsight, I didn't need it. I have got loads of tea sets, but I've been looking for a set like that for ages on eBay, on Etsy, on everywhere. And I saw it in the window in this charity shop, five pounds for the whole set, which is incredible because there's like a whole set there, apart from the teapot, um, <clears throat> that I just, I treated my, I allowed myself that. but. Looking back, I definitely could have saved more, so that is definitely a lesson that I'm taking through to September, which I will go through. The fifth one was to have one big treat at the end of the month, which is my nails. These are my nails for what I've just had done. Um, I love getting my nails done. It's just the one thing I have done. I, do, I rarely get my hair done. As you can see, it's super long. I don't have false eyelashes. I don't I don't buy clothes very, very, very often. Um, and yeah, having my nails done is just that one treat I love to do each month. So yeah, I did that. Number six was to not go over budget, mainly the grocery budget. I will go into that in the boat in the budget um, section of this video. But I definitely was so much better in August with budgeting groceries than I was in July. So I've definitely improved that sub part of it, which is fantastic. But I'll talk about that in a, a bit more in shortly. The seventh one was to have date nights with George, which, and George is my husband, and yes, we did. It, it's been so lovely. We tend to do it on a Saturday night where we just watch a film and we each pick, pick a um, recipe that we're going to make for one another for that week and we make dinner together and we just sit. We don't go out for dinner very often. We sometimes have a takeaway, um, but we just do little things together that and that just is more special than going out for us than going out for a lavish meal um i mean particularly for george and i we feel very uncomfortable going out to posh restaurants like we don't feel like we belong there um so having a t uh, takeaway pizza or cooking something at home together we much much prefer that as soon as i film this video i'm doing some house cleaning and this dress is coming off and i'm putting some comfy clothes on because i just love comfy clothes the eighth goal was to spend time with family, which yes, I can take that off as well. I see my aunt and grandmother at least once a week, if not more. I've seen my mum in August. I've seen my gorgeous niece a few times in August. Um, and she's just growing so much. She's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. And I miss her every day when I don't see her. So, um, yeah, I've been spending time with the family, which has been so nice. Since we've been up here, we've definitely spent, we've definitely um, done that a lot more. So that is absolutely great. The ninth one was to read two books. So I have ticked that one off because I have read two of my Enid Blyton books of The Famous Five. I'm reading through the whole collection of The Famous Five, 21 books, and I'm absolutely loving them. I think I'm on book number six at the moment, but I'm almost finished that. So I'll be reading another two books in September and I just love them. They're just so simple and so easy to read and just takes you back to a more simpler way of living, um, I think, which I absolutely love. And obviously the final one was to bake some bread, which I have. And if you want to see how I made the bread, I will link that video in the description box below or at the top here so you can actually see me make it. So yeah, I would say that August has been another really good month. I would say it's kind of been a floater month, floating, I've just floated by August. 
Um, we did have a few events that we had on that got cancelled. George was poorly at the beginning of August, so uh, we didn't really do anything much. Um, and yeah, I did have a couple of big birthdays, but they've actually been pushed to September, like what we're doing, they've been pushed to September now due to illness, but everyone is fine now, which is great. Um, but overall, it's just been a very floaty month. Um, yeah, it's just been one where if you blink and it's like, oh my gosh, that's gone so quickly. It's just been one of those, but it's been really, really enjoyable. I've spent time in the garden and um, I've been for coffee and cake a lot. And it's just been a really, really lovely month. And then um, my budget side of it, I will get into that in after I've gone through the September goals. But I would say overall, August has been a lovely month. I've definitely have had some lessons. I've definitely, I'm taking a lot from August into September to improve myself in September. Um, and yeah, I've just, there have definitely been things that I have learned through August, but overall, August has been a great month. So now we're going to jump into September's goals. So September's goals, September's goals are all based around self-care and self-development. I definitely found in August, I got into not a rut, but I kind of stopped taking care of myself, but not in that sense. Like, I just kind of didn't really think about what I was eating and I, I just, you know, I just, I didn't have a very good evening routine where I, um, you know, would be on my phone a lot. You've seen my evening routine and if you haven't, I will link that below or at the top here as well because that's kind of the, the goal routine that I'm trying to do every single night. And that's really, really helping me with my sleep, my sleep quality, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get back into getting better sleep quality, not necessarily quantity. Um, and that's working really, really well. And it's just basically developing myself, um, growing and growing as a person and just getting myself kind of back on track that's kind of what the September goals are. So the first goal is to put my phone away by 8, by 8 p.m. every night. Now, <clears throat> at the moment, that's going really well. We are only on the 5th of September and I'm filming this. So uh, we are at the beginning of September, but um, that's a goal I really want to stick to because especially if I take my phone into the bedroom, I'm just on it all the time and this, my sleep is not restful and that's kind of my goal. I want to have restful sleep um, and like I said, good quality sleep. So 8 p.m. every night my phone will be put away into the reading room. Number two is to have a good quality evening routine, which we've just spoken about. And the evening routine that I filmed last week, I believe for you, I will link below or in the top. And that is the evening routine. That is the kind of the routine that I am aiming for to do every single night um, throughout the month of September for sure, if and carry on. And it will be interesting to see the difference in my sleep quality and how that's been. Um, and then the third goal is to choose fruit and veg before junk food. So if I go for a snack, I'm going to have a piece of fruit before I have a chocolate biscuit, for example, or I'm going to have carrot sticks and hummus instead of crisps straight away and try and fill up on more wholesome, healthy food as opposed to immediately going for the not so healthy, but easy snacks. Um, yeah, that's kind of the goal there. Just get back into more mindful, wholesome eating. The fourth goal is to get back to the gym every week. Now, I've put every week because I've not set myself a deadline of I will go to the gym three times a week, two times a week, once a week because sometimes I get really tired and sometimes I just can't go to the gym and I need to rest. Um, so I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. But once a week... I think, or every week, I think is doable for me. And if I do twice or three times a week, that's just a bonus. To continue being consistent on YouTube and reach 650 subscribers. So that ties in with the August goals. I'm just carrying that forward to September and I'm going to stick to that and just keep building my YouTube channel, uploading every week, being consistent with what I'm uploading and yeah, just carrying on with that really. 
Number six is to have £50 saved in my bank account at the end of the month. So far, that's going well. <laughs> I haven't used it. Obviously, if we have any dire emergencies, then that might change. But, other, but they have to be real emergencies. But other than that, I'm going to leave it where it is. <clears throat> and when I come to the end of September, we'll have another chat and decide what I'm going to do with it. Shall I save it and just add to it and just keep a little nest egg building up? Or shall I use it for something for myself to as like a little reward? But we'll discuss that at the end of September. Number seven is to have one form of self-care daily. Whether that's taking half an hour out to read my book, do my bullet journal, make myself a lovely cup of tea in my new china and to enjoy a biscuit. Um, anything little, enjoy my lunch, but just have those moments. It doesn't have to be a pamper night where I have a bath and wash my hair because sometimes they're quite stressful. Not stressful, but like time consuming. So just having those moments where I just... I just be, that's kind of what I aim at with that. Uh, the eighth one is to increase my water intake, which I'm really focused on, because again, I think that also links with sleep. If I'm well hydrated, I definitely do sleep better. So that's another link in with the whole sleep thing. And number nine is to read two more books. So I'm gonna continue on with my Enid Blyton and read two more books. So those girls are definitely more sleep-based, helping me to promote my sleep and just taking care of myself and taking care of self-development and just looking after the body that I have been gifted with because I think that is really really important because our bodies are gifts we have been gifted with these bodies and I believe I personally believe that we need to look after them um, and take care of them and I know it's easier said than done and I know that I am definitely not squeaky clean. I mean, I definitely do have chocolate biscuits and I have fish and chips and, you know, I do go to bed at like the half 10 and I'm on my phone all night and, you know, but we're only human and it's all trial and error. Um, but I definitely feel like we need to treasure the bodies that we've been given regardless of the circumstances, um, you know, and just, just try and enjoy every little moment that we have, even if it is five minutes. So, <laughs> After all that, that is September's goals gone through. So with regards to the budget side of it, uh, we'll talk about the groceries first of all. Groceries, I with because it's just George and I, I really like to stick with no more than £70 a week. And that £70 a week includes um, household items like cleaning products, toilet roll, Georgia shower gel, anything like that, toothbrushes, toothpaste, things like that. Um, it also includes actual groceries, food wise. I use £10 if we need to get anything that week with it when it's regards to cleaning or household items and then I have £60 for the grocery spend. I like to try and save a bit of that each week, even if it's a fiver, just to, if we get to like, because I usually do our food shopping either on a Monday or a Tuesday, and if we get to a Friday and we've got perishables that needs to be thrown out or we've eaten them all, then I can replenish those with the money I've got left over. And that has been working really, really well now. I've kind of got a rhythm into that and I've kind of got a lot more strict with myself with regards to putting any extra money I got from that week's grocery shop away and saving it for when I need it instead of having it in my purse because having it in my purse is too tempting um, so I've taken it out and put it somewhere safe so for when we when I need it for anything grocery wise um, and also we shop at Asda which is a local supermarket here in the UK I think it's like a Walmart I think I'm not too sure in the States um, but they have a section where they have um, reduced items price-wise and they have been working exceptionally well for, for us. They've been saving us money and um, I'm going to continue using those items because of all the items I have used from that particular more affordable range have been fine. They haven't, I haven't got any complaints or, you know, they've been okay. So you can tell they're cheaper, uh, you know, you definitely tell that, but they're not horrendous, they're not awful, um, and if it saves us money, I'm going to keep doing it. 
Um, so that's that. Then with regards to being strict on myself when it comes to my money, so far I'm doing really well, but it is only the 5th of September. Uh, I did find in August, I struggled to say, oh no, I can't afford that this month, or I can't, because it's almost, it's that, I don't know whether it's because I'm British uh, or not, but I don't know, but it's almost that stigma like, oh, can't you afford that slice of cake from the shop, or, you know, oh God, you can't, what, what do you do with your money, where did your, your money go? And it's not that, it's the fact that I budget, and if it's not in my budget, I can't do it. Um, you know, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with that, oh, I can't afford it because I, I burn all my money. It, you know, it's nothing like that. It's the fact that I have a budget and what I need to, to practice and become strict with myself is saying, oh no, sorry, I can't do that this month, possibly next month because it's not in my budget for this month. I need to be stronger and when things, situations arise where if I'm really realistic, I can't afford it that particular month. I need to be strong and I need to say that I can't. But I'm getting there. I am getting there slowly. Um, I just need to, I think once I've said that once, I will be fine. Um, I don't, I have stopped offering, like if I'm at work and someone says, oh, should we go and have a sausage roll or should we go and get a cake or whatever from the bakery? I don't offer that now. If somebody else says it, I then have the opportunity to say yes or no, depending on what my budget situation is at that time. Um, when it comes to my savings, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing better than I was in August. Like I said, I've got um, some money saved in my bank account, which I will stay there. Um, and I've been able to save um, for other events that I've got coming on in September. And yes, it does mean that I don't have any disposable income, but it's taught me or it's teaching me that I don't need it. I don't need the money there. Because I would always worry that I thought, oh my gosh, I don't have any money because I've planned and budgeted for, for other things. I don't have disposable income left. I would panic and worry and then be like, oh, okay, well, I'll just take £10 from there and I'll just take £10 from there. And by that point, I've lost my savings. Whereas now it's kind of like, well, I don't need it. I'm, I will survive. I will be fine without it. And I am. And I mean, I'm never left in a situation where I'm in trouble at all. Um, you know, family, George, there's help there. Um, I'm not destitute or anything like that, but I just, you know, it's kind of like, it's the equivalent to, oh, I'm stuck somewhere and I need to get a taxi home. Please, can you, ring George, please, can you help fund that? To, oh, I really need that lipstick or I really need that t set Do you know what I mean? It's a difference with that. And um, yeah, I've definitely learned that I just, I will be fine and I am fine. <laughs> Um, so that's that side of it, but um, the savings challenge is going really, really well. I really, mu I much prefer dealing more with cash than I do with my. Okay, that was strange. My camera just stopped recording. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, dealing with I, I'm, I use cash more than I do card now. When I get, I get money out, and I find that much easier because I can physically see what I'm spending and what I'm spending it on. I keep all of my receipts as well, so I can look back each week, see what I spent money on, see what I could reduce, see what I could do better on. So it's really good. I'm really finding it interesting. I really, really do enjoy it. And for the first time in my 32 years of life, I'm saving for Christmas <laughs> and not having to use one month's salary to buy Christmas presents. So I'm really chuffed with that. So the budget thing is going really, really well. Um, for September, I want to have savings. Um, I want to have come back at the end of September and said, oh, I have been able to save extra this month. Um, I want to be more sensible. I want to keep um, practicing with the groceries and trying to save some extra money here. But I definitely want to have money at the end of September that I have saved and I have got hold of, which is great because at the end of September, I'd really like to get my hair done as well as my nails. So that's gonna be quite an expense. But yeah, 
that's everything for the month of September, for the monthly reset of September. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any goals that you're setting yourself or if you have any budgeting tips down below. I'd love to hear them. And if you would like to see a video for October's monthly reset, then give this video a thumbs up because that really does show me what videos that you're enjoying. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you all next week's video, which will be a sweet, cute little vlog that I have with my sister and my niece. Bye!